Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm David Palmquist. Loneliness is real. The world is filled with people who live with a dull, nagging ache inside them much of the time. Many of us get so busy with our own lives and families that we don't always notice the person at church who has nowhere to go for a holiday dinner. We bypass the classmate who's eating lunch all alone. Perhaps other people's loneliness makes us feel uncomfortable because we may feel a loss as to how to help. Fortunately, Jesus understood loneliness. He understood it because he felt it. More than any of us have ever felt it. How lonely he must have felt when he cried out from the cross on Good Friday, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, 46. Yet, despite the loneliness, he no doubt felt, or more likely because of it, Jesus was tuned in to the loneliness around him. He not only offered words of comfort, he took the time to be present with the lonely. Reminding the lonely person that God will never leave them or forsake them, Deuteronomy 31.6, is definitely a wonderful source of comfort. Yet words alone can still feel empty to a lonely person. Instead, for the person whose heart is filled with the dull ache of loneliness, let's put our words into action. Now, offer a hug, a dinner invitation, or an hour at the coffee shop. God said, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions, and in truth, in 1 John 3.18. Let's pray about that. Heavenly Father, we know some of these emotions and feelings and loneliness. Uh, Jesus was lonely, but um, worse than us. But we have it. Others have it. Help us see if we can find it and then fulfill it. Take care of them. Provide some togetherness with them so they know they are not alone and assure them, as God has said, he's always with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today for Daily Hope from God's Word. And remember to press like, click share, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you're never alone. God said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you.